welcome to my new video where I can show you the newest exciting features of my uh, smartphone based autopilot system flight zoomer. When I have released version 1.5 some months ago the system still was worked only in one direction. It received data from the APM and used it to show and to navigate but this time I have implemented the way back where I can feed um, auto flight commands in guided mode from flight zoomer to the APM. That way I have uh, recreated the, the mode control panel of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. That's the autopilot of the aircraft having more than a dozen auto autopilot modes. Um, I was unlucky over the last some weeks, uh, had less flight time, but yesterday I was really able to test with a whole lot new features and some worked not so well, but others were really exciting. The most complex autopilot mode that's implemented is the ILS, the automatic or ILS approach mode, and it worked very well. And that's, the, that's what I will show in this video. You will see um, footage from the real flight. I had the camera strapped around my neck and it was like this, filming the, my ground station basically. And everything can be seen there. How I uh, deal with the system and during the whole approach I had not to uh, manu manipulate manually the flight path of the, uh, of the copter. The second new exciting feature is the uh, air traffic control simulation system that I have implemented into the system. It allows me, when I trigger it, it will basically guide me on an approach path, downwind, base, clearances for uh, ILS, clearances to land then. It's really exciting and also this system can be seen in the video afterwards. Um, some details to understand what's then going on. I'm only selecting the directions more or less exactly as, as uh, requested from ATC. That's good enough. I mean, if ATC asks me to turn to 180 degrees, then turning to 178 degrees is, is good enough for this purpose here. Something else we need to understand is that the runway in my uh, virtual navigation database actually is some meters above ground, so I can really approach automatically and don't have to fear that crashes happen because of offsets of, um, of the GPS. Yes, and the last thing to note is that the ILS approach by the autopilot is, is uh, done automatically on, up to the point where the touch point, touchdown point is reached and then it, switched off. it is switching off. And at that point the video will end. So have fun with the sequence that follows. Okay, I will try now simulating the ILS with the speed of roughly 15 kilometers per hour. Swiss Air 124, this is approach control. Turn left 350 degrees, descent and maintain 470. Expect vectors ILS runway 15. 350. Turn left 350, descend 470. Expect vectors ILS runway 15. Swiss Air 124. I reduce altitude. 355 confirmed. I reduce altitude to 470. Altitude 470 armed. It will now descend. I use this flight level change. Track 
321 confirmed. Swiss Air 124, turn left 240. Turn left 240, Swiss Air 124. Track 238 confirmed. I go to in the display mode to. Swiss Air 124 turn left 180 degrees, you are cleared for ILS runway 15, report established. Turn left 180, cleared ILS runway 15, Swiss Air 124. Track 178 confirmed. I'm not going to capture the ILS. It's still holding the 470 meters. Now the glide slope is coming closer. We are approaching it from below. ILS fully established. We will now start descending. Descends very nicely. Slide. Swiss Air 124, cleared to land runway 15. Wish you a good evening. Cleared to land, runway 15, Swiss Air 124. Bye bye. Autopilot switched off. Flight mode position hold. Fantastic. I really have to say, this worked. <laughs>